everyone, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the 60th Anniversary Edition. Brand new release for 2024. First release from 2024 from Character Option site. We have the Fugitive Doctor and TARDIS. Although I'm going to have a little review of this with you. It's also a little bit of a rant. This thing was 40 quid on the site. So if this if I pick this up in B&M you're going to talk 20 25 quid at most. But 40 quid the reason why I'm going to have a bit of a rant about it. You may have seen Al Jewer already doing the videos on YouTube. And I'm a, I was a bit taken aback with like the price of it when I seen that he was showing us all. So, but let's crack this open and get a little closer look of it all. Um, before I do, I will put some little screenshots. The actual packaging of it, it's all the three window displays. Um, it's got the 60 year anniversary, well, 60 years. Doctor Who logo on the top there and it's also got the little synopsis on the back as well. This Fugitive Doctor actually comes with a little gun accessory so like I say let's crack it open have a little closer look for it. I don't know about yous but this is another one of my bugbears you, you need a screw every time you get a tire set you need a screwdriver because of these little fiddly little screws to secure it in the cards in the cardboard uh. see this thing is like Fort Knox just trying to get into this there's that many ties plastic straps screws okay so the figure itself it's been long awaited, hasn't it? I think uh, four years in the making, so I believe. Um, I will flip the camera around and give you a closer look of this as well. But she's the the actual face sculpt on this is fantastic. My one is uh, usually the quite stiff as well, but they are quite loose joints the head will turn left to right you've got the articulation all there the not ball jointed arms for 40 quid I'd expect a ball jointed arm they do the 360 bicep twist elbow joint the hand itself yep yeah, does a little twist the the plastic on this is not as solid as what we usually see um, a little bit more flexible on it and um, the legs um, well the waist does a twist and the legs have got a bite um, a thigh twist a knee joint as well so paint applications though so she's all in the this blue get up the colour pop of the clothing she's got underneath the waistcoat is superb um, even down to the little cuffs popping out of the sleeve with the orange on one side red on the other absolutely fantastic the jacket itself you can tell it's all a new sculpt mould we haven't seen that before neither the waistcoat or the top underneath all of that is new mould um, I think we've seen reused parts on the legs, especially with like the primeval type of figures. But all in all, the figure itself, I mean the head sculpt alone, absolutely superb. I believe they are redoing this. We're probably going to see this at the end of the year in some form of three pack. Or maybe another TARDIS set in B&M. For the 25 quid um, because 
for doing the head sculpt <coughs> with uh, her wearing the glasses as another version. Now whether they're going to release the TARDIS again for B&M and have this with electronic because like I say this 40 quid it's not electronic yet it comes with the battery compartment and the speaker holes but when you click it open it's even got all the compartment where all the connections would go as well I mean yeah okay new mould on the top of the roof new lamp attachment on the top great other than that the actual uh, okay they've repainted the windows white all white but it's not all right <laughs> the figure itself comes with a little blaster gun so it's all those little colours the detail in it as well it's all it's all good really now when I seen Al Jewa doing this on the video he slipped it in the hand and it fell out and he just kind of jibbed it off I mean if you're selling a product edit the video you know but it, my one does fit actually quite firm as well it doesn't fall out at all so this is what I mean that was me on the first go so I actually thought well the hand sculpt it's not going to hold the gun from what I seen on YouTube on the on the character options website but it's actually pretty holds well in there so you've got like the wooden type of effects not just only on the top of the actual um, roof of the TARDIS it comes in this like little apex type of style but you've also got the wooden type of effects on all the panels as well going round another thing with this going back to the packaging <coughs> it's got the interior TARDIS now the cardboard is perforated but it is suggested that you would use scissors and cut that out so let's do that and see how it looks to finish this one off as I am cutting this out you can see they've put all the legal jargon text on the actual print off of the interior I mean god forbid anyone slapped it on a photocopy and put it on the website to download for free type of stuff so this interior has got like little foldable sides in as well little grooves so which you are able to just collapse down so let's open the interior doors and slide this in fits in pretty perfect I can see them Hopefully when they redo these TARDIS for any future releases they're probably going to put that little Easter egg if that's what you want to call it in the packaging for all other future ones. Maybe they're going to release some form of cutouts for previous ones to get that extra bit of cash off those collectors as well. The door mechanism, it's the usual stuff we've seen. One clicks open click it back and it's got a little button on the bottom of the ledge where you push down to actually shut the door over as well so there you go there's my little bonus review rant whichever you want to call it um, let me know if you ended up getting this because on the website it took hours to actually go into the payment process it kept coming up error or something or time out error it was an absolute nightmare click and refresh 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 all the time um, eventually obviously character options website is pretty crap so um, obviously with all the scalpers out there it was only limited to two which was a bonus um, 
but you could tell there was that many people on there trying to get it. I believe they're all on secondary auction sites as well for more than double the 40 quid. So I'm like 90 or more, I think, if so, I believe. Um, but yeah, so the website, pretty crap. But let me know your comments. Did you get hold of this? What do you think of it? Uh, are you going to chance and wait for the B&M release? Because we know it's going to come in the B&M release eventually. But, as I say, will it come with an electronic TARDIS? I hope so. I hope it does. But yeah, drop us the comments. I really want to know your feedback. While you're there hitting them comments, do the usual with the likes, the subscribes, and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will catch you on the next. Take care.